I greet you in the love and the light of the infinite creator. I am not a big supporter of string theory with its extra dimensions. In these videos, the extra dimensions are explained as future possibilities and opportunities in our one three-dimensional universe. In the mathematics of Hugh Everett's Many Worlds Theory, the parallel universes, or extra dimensions, are at right angles to each other. In this theory, as a process of spherical symmetry, forming and breaking, the mathematics can represent the surface of a sphere, always being at right angles to the center of the sphere. As a process of continuous energy exchange, this can be seen in our everyday life with electromagnetic fields always being at right angles to each other. The reason why strings need eleven dimensions and spheres only need three is because the two-dimensional surface of a sphere can form a dynamic membrane or what I like to call a two-dimensional boundary condition. In our everyday life this is represented by the movement of positive and negative charge with positive charge formed by the outer convex curvature and negative charge formed by the inner concaved curvature. This dynamic two-dimensional boundary condition allows for the use of the holographic principle. With the information of our three-dimensional universe encoded holographically with the movement of charge and flow of electromagnetic fields in three-dimensional space. The other great advantage of having spheres instead of strings is that an interior of a sphere is naturally three-dimensional. Also, when spherical symmetry is broken, it has the potential to form the most beautiful of geometrical shapes in the form of the Fibonacci spiral, and this is what we see throughout nature. Such a process will form entropy or disorganization with a built-in potential for ever greater symmetry formation that we can see in the complexity and diversity of cell life and in the potential for ever more abstract mathematics. Thanks for watching. Please sub and share. It will help the promotion of this theory.